I was amazed at how much this film is so global. All the different actresses are from all around the world. Um, how important is it to show that this is a, a global issue? Everyone in the modeling world all around the world is, is trying to figure out what plus size modeling is and isn't. And it's really special to tackle it globally like that. I think it's really important uh, for this film to come out right now because um, people are, sta are, are starting to realize that uh, uh, the body positive movement uh, is not going to just be a trend. It's gonna, it's, it's, we're going to be there forever. We're telling people it is okay to be your size, it is okay to be yourself, and it is important to love yourself because once you do that, you can actually go into the world and be a successful human being. When you have have to worry a lot about how you look, how people think of you, uh, if you're big or not, then then the rest of your goals are going to be put behind you because you're not uh, strong and, uh, and uh, confident enough to take on the world. So we think this film is so important because people are going to start to realize, okay, is there, a t is, is there the time to start thinking about this uh, body positive movement as something that is going to stay there forever and we're all going to push through to make everybody feel that they can take over the world regardless of their size. You know, there's a, an amazing emotional connection to one of the one of the ladies in particular. I don't want to share what happens to her, but when you guys started filming and that happens, how emotionally attached did you become? It it was very difficult because uh, our main subject, Ellie Mayday, um, she we didn't know and she didn't know that she had cancer. Um, we started filming before she even found out. So that was a major uh, turning point and, and it turned the film upside down. And we didn't know if we were even going to continue filming the film. But she wanted to share her story uh, with the world and uh, she allowed us into her life for half a decade, really. Um, and we were so honored to be able to share her story uh, as a plus size model and a person who was fighting cancer. And at the same time. At the same time. And she made it to huge heights while, while fighting this terrible disease. And, I'm, and like you said, we don't want to... People can find out online, but we don't want to give away the ending to the film. But it was very difficult as filmmakers because you become so attached to your subject. You, you're with them every step of the way. And even, even after you are finished the documentary, um, as an editor, uh, you, you have to see these people on your screen over and over again and, and do justice to that story. So you are with them from the beginning right up to showing the film on the screen. So you become extremely attached. Well, just watching it, I know I got emotionally attached. It was, it was amazing and heartbreaking at the same time. Yeah. Um, I would love to know what it means to you to bring it to a festival that honors women filmmakers, women creators, and women radicals. This, these festivals are essential uh, to, to, to the way the society is going to be uh, is going to be pushing through to this um, weird mentality in the film industry that only men can take on roles that are creative, uh, like production designing, directing, cinematography. So these festivals are the reason where we're going to continue pushing through to the point that we're going to make it into the mainstream, because that's the problem with our films, that we only can make it into the independent world. But we don't have a space in the in, on the mainstream, so um, this is the way that we can actually push through to get to that point that uh, our films are going to make it into the mainstream, and from there we're going to be able to do incredible things. And, and um, I'm so thankful for festivals like this that are uh, giving me a voice. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a woman, a Latina, and a filmmaker. I have to break all these barriers in order for me to be able to be successful. Uh, so I wish I didn't have to do this, but I'm okay with doing it as uh, because I know that there is a lot of women behind me, like there is teenagers, like 10 year old little girls that are hoping to become one day to be filmmakers. So if by the time they are my age, they can be in the mainstream and they can do whatever they want. Uh, it's going to be incredible for me to see that process uh, to change. And I'm going to be probably 50, whatever, and I'm going to be like, I'm so happy this happened. So, yes. <laughs> well, guys, thank you for bringing the film here.